I'd like to begin going over how to distinguish pond cypress Taxodium ascendens from bald cypress Taxodium disticum. Fortunately, at the front of Southern Miss's campus, we have plantings that contain both species. Here is a clump of Taxodium ascendens, and right across the pond, we'll go take a closer look in a minute, is another clump of Taxodium disticum. Both trees have deciduous needles. In fact, entire branchlets fall off every fall. The needles of Taxodium ascendens remain oppressed to the little branchlet that they're growing on. Let me get a closer look at these here. So you can see, well, you may not be able to see in the video, the needles are only a centimeter or so in length and they're all closely oppressed to these little branchlets that I'm shaking. For Taxodium disticum, the needles are spread out from the little branchlet that they are attached to. Whereas in Taxodium ascendens, they are oppressed to that little branchlet. So the needles are, are easily distinguished with Taxodium disticum. A little bit harder to spot because they're stuck to the stem on Taxodium ascendens. A potential problem for distinguishing Taxodium disticum and Taxodium ascendens as the needles are beginning to emerge is that the young needles for both species are oppressed as they first start to emerge. And so a young twig like this one on Taxodium disticum can have an appearance, the needles can have an appearance of Taxodium ascendens. However, if you look further up the stem, you can clearly see that the older needles are separated from the stem or, or not oppressed to the stem. The bark for both species peels off in long vertical shreddy flakes. Sometimes underneath there's just a little hint of a cinnamon color as that bark exfoliates.